I'm appalled and sickened that people should uh, lose their lives in this way. And... It's Monday, June 22, and this is News Update. Three dead and three injured in Reading terror attack. Ash Sarkar death threats over Twitter post. Trump in first rally since COVID-19 hits the US. Jailed British Iranian calls for the British government to do more to bring about his release. Police and protesters in Tunisia clash over unemployment. In sport, a tennis tournament in Croatia was cancelled after a player tested positive for COVID-19. And in trending, we give you some amazing footage of a rare solar eclipse. Three people have died and a further three are seriously injured after a stabbing incident in Reading on Saturday. Police have arrested a 25-year-old man following the attack in Forbury Gardens in Reading. Kahiri Sadala was initially arrested on Saturday on suspicion of murder and was later re-arrested under Section 41 of the terrorism attack. I'm appalled and sickened that people should uh, lose their lives in this way and our thoughts are very much with the, the families and friends of the, of the victims today. Two of the three victims have been identified. 36-year-old teacher James Furlong was the first to be named and American Joe Ritchie Bennett was also named to have died. The attack is being treated as a terrorist incident. Although the motivation for this horrific act is far from certain, counter-terrorism policing have taken responsibility for leading the investigation. However, we're clear that it was not associated in any way with the Black Lives Matter protest, which took place peacefully earlier on in the day. British journalist Ash Sarkar received death threats after posting a photo of herself eating a lolly in a park on Twitter. The journalist's photo, captioned with three orange emojis, led to critical replies on the social media platform. The replies claimed to be in reference to three victims killed in the stabbings in Reading that evening. The 28-year-old posted the photo after 10pm London time, hours after the news of the Reading attack became public. US President Donald Trump took part in his first rally since the COVID-19 pandemic hit the country. Mr. Trump told the event in Tulsa, Oklahoma, that he is encouraging health officials in his administration to slow down coronavirus testing. When you test, a, when you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people, you're going to find more cases. So I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. The event itself was marred by empty seats, despite the White House promising the event would be filled above the 19,000 capacity of the BOK Center. A UK Iranian, imprisoned in Iran for three years, urges Prime Minister Boris Johnson to help. Anusha Ashuri sent an audio message by phone, calling on Mr Johnson to get him and fellow British citizens out of prison. I'm appealing to you to take action and get me and my fellow British citizens out of Evin prison, where the threat of Covid-19 is as strong as ever. Ashuri is serving a 10-year sentence after being convicted of spying for Israel despite never having visited the country. Police and protesters clashed in Tunisia amid demonstrations over unemployment. It follows the arrest of activist Tariq Kadad, the spokesman for the protesters. Protesters demanding jobs in Tunisia's energy sector blocked roads with burning tyres after the arrest of Haddad. Security forces responded with tear gas to the demonstrators at the protest camp. The protesters demand authorities make good on a 2017 promise to provide jobs in the gas and oil sector to thousands of unemployed. A tennis tournament in Croatia hosted by Novak Djokovic has been cancelled after a player tested positive for coronavirus. Grigor Demetrov confirmed on Sunday he tested positive for COVID-19, leading to the cancellation of the final. Since then, Borna Koric, who played against Dimitrov on Saturday, confirmed he has also tested positive for coronavirus. And in trending, a partial solar eclipse, known as a ring of fire, was seen as the rare annular eclipse swept across Africa, the Middle East and Asia. And that's it for today's news update. For more, follow Islam channel online. Tune in again tomorrow.